What's up guys, James Palms here. I'm just gonna show you, this is how to grow queen palm from seeds. So right here we've got the seed. We're going to, basically the first thing you wanna do is fill up a bucket. So I just fill up a bucket with water, pail, whatever, and put the seeds, they're gonna, come, they're gonna come like this with the fruit on them. And basically what you wanna do is get all this fruit off. So how I do that is I'll leave them in the water for about four to five days. <clears throat> you can do a little more or a little less. These ones have been in a little longer. I already did so many. I had tons that I had to do. So, um, And now basically all I'm going to do is jab a knife. I'm not going to be able to do this one-handed, but basically I jab a knife in starting from this end. Scrape all the fruit off. And when you scrape it all off, they should look like this. Dishes here, it's kind of dishes at the same time. So they'll look like this. And we dropped it. And it's like, so when they're done, they should look like this. Now you can clean these off a little more with like a Scotch Brite pad, like a SOS pad or something, perhaps scrub them up a bit more. Um, I'm gonna put them in hydrogen peroxide and, and scrub them and then float them for another day and then they'll go into their soil and their baggie. And I'll uh, show that other part of the video in a minute okay guys so this is the next part here we've put them now in a baggie here filled with soil after we finished scraping off all the fruit we put them in a baggie filled with soil here and uh, we're going to put this on our rotor we're going to close it up i've put some moisture in there put a bit of water in there and uh, i've got no fruit on them put them in there now and we're going to uh, shake them up and put it on your rotor and we're going to keep it around uh, 80 degrees, something like that, 80 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit, and uh, we'll leave them like that for uh, about a month to two months, and uh, then we'll start taking them out. And uh, and anyways, when we take them out, I've already done this step here, so I'm going to show you this step here. We've we put them in here, and now I've taken some of them out, and I took them out about six months ago. Um, this video has a couple parts to it, so I took them out about six months ago, and then we started planting them And I planted the root down just in a cup each one you put one seed in each cup and uh, Now this is what you have a few uh, After they pop uh, When you put the root in you put them in your cup here, and they'll start to make a leaf And they'll start to make more and this is what you can expect for about these are about six months old seven months old right around here and uh, they've been in pretty much full Sun and uh, they are a little fertilizer hungry. This one is starting to get pretty dark. Some of these, they're okay. I mean, they're not they're not looking great. They're in full sun. They're probably too small to be looking in full sun. This one here is definitely yellowing out. Uh, I don't know if it's from uh, the fungus gnats or a bit, a bit too much water, but not enough water. They're just kind of on their own, so that one's a little yellow too. But I'll fertilize them and put them in bigger pots. Perhaps they'll do a little better. And uh, so basically that's all it is to it. I mean, you put these in the baggie, you put them in a baggie, you strip the fruit off, you put them in a baggie, let them uh, let them stay nice and warm, and you know, not as you can see, it's not wet, it's just moist, and let them pop, and then the roof pops down, you put them in a cup, leave them in full sun with that cup, that's what I did anyway, just leave them in full sun with the cup, and they'll start to grow out, and, uh, and when they grow out, they'll look like this, and as they get bigger, they'll start to grow, and uh, this is a seven gallon here now. This one here, somebody had it, it absolutely looks like crap. So I had to cut two, actually I cut three fronds off it, so um, it only has one good frond left, but uh, this is how they look very quickly. They can, uh, this isn't that old. It's making a new frond right here. This is the next frond coming out right here in the center, it's starting to open. Um, and uh, yeah, this is the trunk. They basically start to grow like this fairly quickly. Uh, I mean, it's still a few years old, but um, they grow up. They're very, even when they're small, you'll see like one really tall, like even those ones there, once they start uh, to, to segmenting the leaf, you'll see them, they'll be, they'll be very tall. They're like a stick and they grow straight up right away. And I mean, you can walk this tree within the next few years. If I plant this one in the ground, it'll be growing almost straight up and you'll be able to walk underneath it. I mean, the fronds just go, uh, all up in the air. They're not that cold hardy. They're cold hardy enough. Uh, they can handle down to about, uh, I'd say 20, not for a crazy long period of time or anything, but 20 Fahrenheit, uh, you know, minus four, minus five. They're definitely good in that range. Some people say a little colder. Some people say a little less. Um, I don't really care because I'm probably not going to ever let them see that. If I plan on planting one, I might just plant this one because I got it for free. It was a 
seven gallon and it looked like crap. It still looks like crap, but I might stick it in the ground and uh, maybe one day one of my seed grown. I have more over there. I have more seed seed grown queens. Um, this is this next year's. This is last year's batch, basically. So if you actually, I don't say six months, but I mean six months from the time they sprouted. So um, yeah, they take a long time. They're slow to get going, but uh, as you can see, they want to grow straight up right away. So. Anyways, and these ones are just sitting outside and cold. I really don't give them much of anything. I mean, they're not basically on their own. They're just in the cup, and uh, they might even be, need to be repotted. I'm not sure. I haven't looked down. I know the roots should go pretty deep. It's probably not deep enough for them. But uh, anyways, uh, they're a lot of fun to grow, so pick up some seeds. They're, uh, they're everywhere. And, uh, whenever you see a queen palm, they always seem to be producing seeds. Um, they're not always necessarily ripe, but uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Later.